Hi and welcome to the Windows Kernel Programming Fundamentals course here on Pentester Academy. My name is Pavel and I'll be your guide throughout this course. At this point, the initializations we did in driver entry is just one really, the driver unload pointer. We pointed that to our unload routine. However, that's not nearly enough for any uh, normal driver. We need to support more operations such as create, which allows clients to call create file and have some way of getting to our functionality that we are actually exposing from the driver. What about read and write, which me, we also may want to support. And so the way to support the operations that the driver wants to export to the system is using a major function array, which is an array of function pointers that we need to set up for the operations we actually support. All the entries that we don't initialize are already initialized when the driver object is uh, provided to us, which points to a, a code within the kernel that completes the request and says, hey, this operation is just not supported. And every one of these major function uh, routine is called dispatch routine, so this is the same thing. It must have the prototype that you see here. So here are the common major functions that we're going to set up. One of them is called IRPMJCreate. This is just a definition in the WDK headers. In this case, IRPMJCreate equals actually zero. So that's the first entry in the major function array. And so I need to support create really. Otherwise, there's no way to get to anything within my driver from the outside, which is very atypical from uh, from normal driver, so I need to support that. Normally I just need to say, yes, I accept the, the request to open a handle uh, to the one of my device objects, which we'll see uh, later on. The opposite of create is close, and so when the last handle is close to a device that I expose, then this handler is going to be called. And so if I do something interesting in create, that would be a good location to do the opposite. And then we have operations for read and write. These are called when you call the read file or write file function in, in user mode or ZW read file or ZW uh, write file uh, from kernel mode. And finally, we have device IO control, which is a very common example of communicating with software drivers. This is, in fact, the way that Process Explorer, for example, communicates with its own driver. And so for that, we have IRPMJ device control as the proper index. And so let's go ahead and issue one, some of these uh, initializations here in our driver. And so our driver right now is not really doing anything interesting. It's just uh, printing uh, some information. We can go ahead and leave that code if we wish. But for now, I want to add a little bit more uh, code by going to uh, use one or at least more or more of the major functions that we're going to expose in our driver. So as I mentioned, we're going to implement create and close for sure. In fact, almost every driver has to do that. Otherwise, create file will never succeed against any device provided by this driver. So I'm going to use IRPMJ create here to point to my handler for create operations. So let's call that uh, process power create. And I can do the same thing for the opposite, which is the close operation. So in this case, what I will do, I'm going to point both these control codes, sorry, both these major functions to the same function. I'm doing that because I'm going to do the exact same thing in this uh, callbacks or these functions, which is just completing the request successfully. So for now, I'm just going to add the appropriate prototype as we've seen in the slide. And so we expect to get here a device object pointer, something we haven't uh, looked at uh, yet. And then we're going to get the request itself, which is provided as a pointer to an IO request packet structure or IRP. So I'm going to just leave it uh, at that for now, and we'll see how to deal with that later on. And of course, to make this a really interesting driver, we need to be able to tell the 
the driver from a client application. Here's the process ID and I want you to open for me a handle which is super powerful to this process. And so we need to implement either read file, write file or device side control in the appropriate major function. And so for these kinds of requests which are not uh, pure read write, we typically use device side control. So I'm going to use IRP MJ device control to uh, support this operation, let's call that uh, process power device control. And all I need to do here for now is just go ahead and create the appropriate uh, prototype for that. So it's going to be the same prototype exactly, just a different uh, function name. And at this point I can't really build the driver successfully because I'm going to get uh, linker errors. I'm going to say, well, first we get uh, an error because the driver is currently loaded. Let me uh, stop that. Otherwise, I can't really rebuild over the same binary. But now we'll get a linker error indicating we have these two unresolved externals. We're defining two functions here, but we're not providing any implementation. So the compiler is fairly happy, but the linker is not because we lack these implementations. And of course, we'll have to do that uh, throughout uh, the course and we'll do that in the next uh, module. For now, let's go back to discuss how to actually communicate uh, with the driver. Mm -hmm.